In our last episode, we started off our brand new survival world by finding every type of wood block we could possibly need, having to hunt for a sheep at night, finding a new place to call home, and also seeing a ton of bees along the way. Now, at the very end of that episode, we also did find ourselves in quite the dilemma. And here we are, as we finish the last episode, there is our little bit of a dilemma. <laughs> it looks like they got a Congo line going, oh no, you just broke it. There we go. <laughs> the Congo pillagers right there. I feel like they just want to join in on the party. But you know what? There is no party here today. <laughs> there is only me. And uh, I feel like I feel like this is probably not going to be ending too well for me. So I think we should get a good strategy about getting rid of these guys as soon as possible. They don't seem like they've looked at me, although that guy seems to... Yeah, now nah, he just <laughs> wants to keep the line going. So I thought I had a great idea by maybe using some of these iron ingots. Although that is all that I have. So one iron ingot, it's just not going to cut it. Maybe instead of making an iron sword, we'll just use our iron axe. Look at that. Nine attack damage, five attack damage. That guy, he can go there. Right now, <laughs> I think we're I think we going to be definitely in a little bit of trouble. So first thing is, let's make sure our spawn point is set. Set. It was definitely set. If that said that, we'll pick up our blocks along the way. Our multi-purpose tool right here. That's what that is. All right, so I'm going to have to work out a way of maybe because they're in water as well, just to make my life a little bit more difficult. I need to be able to pick one off at a time, or alternatively, I could get them to fight themselves. <laughs> yeah, that, they definitely all looked at me just then. Oh, look the other way. I'm not doing anything. Let's let's see, it, maybe if I come around this angle. This might be the very angle, all right? I can't hear them pulling back their crossbows. All right, nothing, nothing yet. There, there we go. Good, 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 good. One hit the other one. That's perfect. Line them up. Line them up. <laughs> oh no, they're following me. Oh no. Pig, please come help me. All right, I'll stop. Still not hit. That's a pretty good bunny run. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man. This, this could actually end quite well for me. Oh, they've kind of split up. That's not a bad idea. Oh. I feel like these guys are doing more work than I am. Yep, bad move, buddy. Bad move. Oh, two down. Two down, one big guy, and another little guy to go. And he's not even interested. Oh, ow. Take that. <laughs> oh, take that. Yeah, I'll take that one myself. Oh, no. Don't tell me the last guy's the one that gets me. <laughs> oh, we made it. We actually made it. And only... Four little hearts down. Maybe we had some others that we just healed. Oh, this is, you know what? This is my first time ever getting this thing. I got a bad omen. I don't think that's a good thing. Or is that a good, is that, I feel like that's, a bad omen's not a good thing normally. So I'm going to say that's probably not a good thing. But you know what? I think finishing these guys off for the first time ever in episode two is a great thing. Now we're home safe, and I think what I want to do is quickly get done what we didn't get done in our last episode, which was moving into our house. You know, I said, come on, have a look inside here, and then I proceeded to have nothing. So, you know what? Let's actually make sure we keep our first crafting table. Don't get it mixed up with the others. There we go. It's important. It's a special crafting table. We can't let this one get lost, so boom. Now we know, that is the first one ever. Now, before we go much further, I gotta say thank you to everyone for the crazy amount of support we've got on our last episode. I was not expecting to get quite as much support as we have gotten. And I gotta say, it feels great. It feels great to see it and I appreciate it so much. So thank you, of course, for just plain liking the video. That helps me out so much. And, and not only that, just being around. So I appreciate you guys all joining me for this brand new journey. And of course, the big one is the name of this brand new area that we are setting up base. And I asked you guys for your help in the last episode and <laughs> there was a lot. So I got to say thank you all for posting down your ideas. There were a lot of good ones and a lot that went in a good direction in terms of ideas for names for areas. And I've kind of merged a few together. I haven't gone with anyone in particular, but I've used them all as inspiration. And what I've come up with is, of course, we're living in a valley. There's a lot of flowers. There's a sun, which had some really good thought to it, which I didn't even think about the sun, but you guys added in sun to those names. That was great. And I think that's something that I have to do in the future. But what I'm thinking is something along the lines of New Petal Valley. 
I don't know. I wanted to use new, new's in there, pedals, of course, no, no explanation needed. And we are in a valley, which I mean, you know what? That's a mountain, it counts. There's a little bit of a hill over there. There's a big one over there. I think it's a pretty good place to start for a name. So now let's do a take two of welcome to my starter house. There we go. It <laughs> looks a bit more colorful. That's good. I'm, you know what? I'm going to embrace the colors. We got to use them. We live in a flower forest. We have to be a little bit daring with our blues and reds and random paintings around the place. Actually, there's a double painting. We don't want double paintings. We'll get rid of this. There's actually almost, if I'm correct, where is it? It has to be coming up soon. There we go. The almost Jancy face painting. Check this out. You see it? There is, it is almost flipped. I can see my face in that painting. It freaks me out every time. Now, that is not the most exciting part about this. The most exciting part about this is that we've got a little bit of an attic up the top here, and I've actually made a mistake with it, but it's gonna be fine because of what we're gonna use this for. So what I was thinking is, of course, we don't have a lot of room in this place. We need to expand it at some point, but also I don't wanna have a whole bunch of barrels just stacked along here. So what I wanna do is put this little attic up here where I was gonna put a ceiling anyway. I may as well do this, put our barrels up there. We can't actually stand in because we are too, actually, there we go. No, I could crouch and stand in. Can I get out? I can. Okay, cool. All right, well, scratch that. We can stand in this and that'll actually make placing this a little bit easier. Perfect. All right, so let's go check what that looks like when we cover it up. Nice, inconspicuous. I like it. All right, there we go. No, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost forgot the most important thing. Now, as I say, I've got absolutely no idea what happens with these things, but I'm going to place that there. If that ends up attracting more, bring it on, bring it on. They should have seen what I just did to their pillager buddies. They're in for a, a bit of trouble. So here's the point in the video where I get to remind you that if you are enjoying it, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does help me out tremendously. And not only that, if you haven't already yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe because you will be able to follow the rest of the series that we've got planned. And of course, we've always got our Discord server open. If you would like to join that, the link is in the description for you. Now we're on to the rest of the video. I feel like we've properly moved in and I want to do a little bit of a challenge for this episode to kick things off because you know what? We're going to be mining. Actually, I, I've already dug this hole. <laughs> this is where I stole my cobblestone from. Uh, we have got to do a little bit of mining sometime soon because we need cobblestone, first of all. That's something we're running out of. And the other thing that we need to do is, of course, get ourselves just an improvement. Now, here we go. First challenge is the dig straight down challenge. <laughs> this is ill-advised, but I've just started doing it and I really want a single block mine shaft. Don't take this as good advice. But the actual challenge that I was thinking of today was to try and slow down mining because of course I could get myself diamond everything in no time at all. We could just go ahead and cut the episode and I'll come back an hour later and we will hopefully have some diamond tools, but I don't want to do that. So I've come up with the idea of doing the 100 block challenge. And what we're going to do is we're going to mine 100 blocks in one direction when we get to the bottom of this mine shaft. We're actually getting pretty pretty close to the bottom. But what we're going to do is we're going to mine 100 blocks in one direction. And whatever we get from that 100 blocks is what we get to keep. And when I'm talking 100 blocks, I mean 100 blocks from here to whatever block we land on. So really, because we're digging two, it'll be 200 blocks. Okay, well, you know what? Good thing is we have definitely got enough iron going down here. So we've already won. Uh, I feel like it would be cheating if I didn't go out in this direction. So I guess we got to go out that direction because I've already dug two, one block in that direction. I feel like this would be a bit too cheaty of me to go out that direction right now. Although if we can see it, if we can see it, I think we can go for it. All right, if we, whatever we find, we can go for. So if we find a ravine, the ravine counts. I really should be looking where I'm going. All right, so we're about 50 blocks in and I found a little cave over here. So we haven't actually explored the first cave. I'm still debating whether that one counts. I think it has to because we exposed it with our own one. I think it counts, but we'll go back to that when we get to the end, hopefully, if we still have a pickaxe to uh, <laughs> to dig our way through. I wanna hopefully get some redstone that we've missed. Get some of those XP balls because that will be great to eventually enchant some stuff. But I think a little bit of an update. Lapis, redstone, doing good. All right, we're finding more caves. I just, I literally just stopped over here and <laughs> told you guys that we're halfway. And then I found this one here. Uh, yeah, don't use my ax. That was my pillager ax, but you know what? We'll, we'll use some durability on it. We are so lucky. Look at this, more. I don't want to go out that way. I'm a little bit scared. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, <laughs> this is just where we started. All right, maybe I should be exploring a bit more. Let's just check. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
<laughs> Why? Already, no one's gonna believe that. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna dig the rest of this hole because I don't deserve those diamonds. We'll come back for them. I really don't. Like, this is... We started on block number 144. We are now on negative 91. So what? negative 144 to negative 91, I, I'm, I'm gonna say... We definitely are too darn lucky for this game. So we'll just keep digging until we get to 44 and then I'm gonna go back. All right, new rule. I do not have any coal. If I don't get coal, I don't get to make a steel pickaxe. And if I don't have a steel pickaxe, there is definitely no mining of diamonds going on. So there we go. We've got ourselves a little bit of a spanner in the works. All right, if you really want me to, I will make them. <laughs> the game asking the game delivers. Look at that. I just said a few blocks ago. I I need this. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? This every I you know what? If you guys want some advice on finding diamonds, because I get that comment every now and then, start a Minecraft Let's Play and get the diamonds, and I'll tell you, no one's gonna believe you. I'm gonna. I will guarantee there will be a comment. No way he got diamonds that quick. Listen, I, I don't know how this happens every single time, but just let me start a world for you and you're probably gonna get these things. We've already got at least four here and who knows how many back over there. And we're probably gonna dig two blocks after this and find more. But trust me, if you guys wanna, if you wanna verify me, I need someone to help me out here. Go check out the seed and please confirm that these are legitimate diamonds. There it is. There, oh no, that's not it. That's it right there. One, two, three, and four. And you know what? I'm actually not going to wait for a fortune pick for those other diamonds. We're just going to go back and get them. Why not? Let's just get our other diamonds. Man, I I don't know. I must be the luckiest player alive. This is ridiculous. Getting four diamonds straight off the bat. I actually thought, we, you know what? That was unlucky. That could have been an eight stack of diamonds. All right, that there concludes the 100 blocks. Now all that's left to do is for me to collect the millions of diamonds that I got along the way and see how many we got. Listen guys, this is an absolute joke of a mining trip. I came here because I said we're gonna come along our way, collect our millions of diamonds. There those ones are. I look in here and there's more diamonds here and I can hear a skeleton up, oh, and a creeper. Ooh, uh, you know what? We're probably not gonna get any diamonds up that way anyway, so. Goodbye. We'll say goodbye to those guys. But this is absolutely no joke at all. Perfect. All right. We are looking good. Now, <laughs> I need this lock to stop because if this is the case, it is not the case. This is abs I Am I not the luckiest? I, I am the luckiest player. I'm, I am 100%. I thought I was going to need you guys' help on the first blocks of diamonds. I'm going to need someone in the comments to please help me out here because <laughs> there's going to be someone who's not going to believe this. And I, I don't, I don't, I do not blame you. I would not believe this either. Can I please get someone to verify that? I'm taking the iron first. All right, there you have it. Our very first 100 block challenge. I'm just going up to the top here and I can hear that there's someone knocking at the door. Too bad they don't realize I'm not home. Oh, I can hear rain. I haven't heard rain in forever. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, can I just go down fast? Um, can I break a block, maybe? No, 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 this is gonna be me. No! <laughs> oh, what rotten luck. I can't complain about luck, but that was so unlucky. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Where'd he go? Is that, that might be the guy. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> That's a, that is a deadly bow. Let's just head down, pick up our stuff. Hopefully the lava that is about two blocks. Oh no, there the guy is right there. I'm going to get down. I'm going to jump away and this guy can go do his own thing. Goodbye. See you later. Can't do much more to me. <laughs> or maybe you can. I won't doubt you. I will not. No way. If this guy can still get me. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. You better stay there. Well, now that we got that out of the way, I want to just say that I think that is a fantastic 100 block challenge. A good start to the 100 block challenge. I kind of enjoyed just doing a little bit of mining on my first few mining trips and not making it a whole big chore. I think that's quite enjoyable. So there we go. 15 diamonds, 75 lapis, a hundred and... 120. Why am I doing this? <laughs> what am I doing? 120 redstone and seven gold ore. I think that is a successful 100 block challenge challenge. Now, of course, if you want to compete in the 100 block challenge, go for it. Tell me what you guys get in 100 blocks. The rule is, if you can see it, you can take it. So don't go digging out poke holes. Only the blocks you dig, if you come into a cave, it's all yours. 
I feel like we've been underground for quite a long time and I want to go out and explore a little bit of stuff, see what we've got near us and see if we can find ourselves some sort of structure, you know, a village, maybe a nether portal, maybe, a, oh, I don't know what, a, the villager outpost. Oh no, I got myself stuck in some, <laughs> some leaves. All right, I'm sorry, leaves. I feel bad breaking natural leaves, but you know what? We're going to do it. But yeah, I think we should just go out, have a little bit of an adventure, see what we can find. I'm also running pretty short on food but uh, I don't want to get another stack of beef. So I guess mutton is the way to go. If we find any sheep, I'm sorry, guys. I'm very sorry. And you know what? We also have to do something with these guys sometime soon. <laughs> yes, there we go. Just on the border. So this is the village, and this was the one we just saw, that little house there. But it seems like it's actually going out quite the distance outward there and there. So we've got a little bit of exploration to do. I can never remember what new houses have got loot and which new houses don't. So it's kind of exciting, you know, a bed in case of an emergency, we can definitely get in there. So <laughs> I, I think we might need to speak to them about their engineering practices. I don't know why, but I'm gonna say that these horses are not contained where they want them to be contained. In fact, we can, we can maybe get ourselves a ride home. If I find a saddle, I know where to come. Just as I was about to say that there are no villagers in this village, we find a guy. Not any trades I can do just yet, but sure to find someone with something useful. Hopefully there is a library, but I can't see any library around here. Oh, did he? Did that guy just spawn in? I could be certain I did not see that guy earlier, but we'll go. We'll check that back. We'll check it back. Where is this darn loot? There's no loot in this village. Of course, there's a nitwit. There is, there is the reason. This is a neat little house. Look at that. We got ourselves the sawmill, stone cutter, sorry. And we've got all these. I don't think I've seen one of those before. There are quite a few villages around here without work and what I'm doing is I'm trying to look for some way of creating the jobs that I want them to do because of course if we can get a librarian we'll be happy. Look how many dogs they've got. Man, I, I gotta come back for these. There's a lot of things I need to come back for. Check this out. What about terrain generation? Oh my, that is, yeah that is something. I just, I felt like this was not loaded in, but that is completely loaded in. I've walked a few chunks already. Either my games just stopped loading these in, but I'm, I'm willing to say that is the way that that is. That is unbelievable. Kind of cool. Looks kind of like a, a snake. There's like a little tongue sticking out there or something. Now I'm on my way home and I couldn't miss the giant flower biome, so I knew exactly where I was going. And then look at that, just peeking over the trees. Oh, the little house. I love it. It actually is so good. I've got so many ideas for this area. It's it's amazing, actually, <laughs> the, the kind of options that we've got on this. I think we're going to go super colorful on this. Well, that over there is a cool spot. Look at this. River coming down here. Ravine going out there. Oh, man, that is that is something. That's kind of a, a neat little look, I think. Man, there's a few places if I came across them before, I would have considered putting my base there. I probably would have done that because I always get asked, can I do a ravine base? And I never do it. That would have been the time. But I got to say, the flower forest still takes it in my book. What I just showed you was the big ravine. Here is the baby ravine. Flowers in a cave. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I'll give you that. That one is actually pretty cool. So what I was just doing there was looking for sugarcane and I think we've got enough now. We've got 39. I've also planted some at the base. And what I want to do is find a few of these villagers which don't have any jobs. And I want to give them some work. I know that we're around here. I just need to see where they've gone. There we have one just standing under the bell there. And you know what? I'm going to be greedy and I'm going to make my villagers the villagers that I want them to be. So first of all, I really want a librarian. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> they The most useful one. So there and can I make books? Is it? Yep, there we go. I don't know why it wasn't showing up there, but that's fine. Maybe because I hadn't made one before. And then we need to make a bookshelf and then we can make ourselves a lectern and then we can make ourselves, I guess, hopefully a good villager. So let's try this out. Those, there, 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 bookshelf. And is it something like this? I think it's something like this. There, there, there. Oh, out of memory. I'm so surprised. I've hardly made these things. Where do you go? There. I could see the little bald villager head <laughs> sticking around there. I want to put this in. A, I'll get this guy's job, then I'll put it in a proper house. Oh, no. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> All right. Time to find another one. Not very useful. So what I'm thinking is maybe one of these villages that I thought there were many that didn't have jobs. One of the ones that do have a job maybe needs to get a new job. So there was the blacksmith. I think he's all the way over there. There's the blacksmith over there. So maybe we could get... Oh, no. I th thought we had another one. What do you got there? Absolutely nothing. I don't think there's anything I ever need from those guys until I absolutely need it. So if I do this here, remove that. 
We should go find a villager without a job somewhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Let me in. Get rid of your job, please. So I was considering just letting this baby villager grow up and maybe giving that guy the job, but I think they take a bit longer than your average mob. So what I did see was look at that. Speaking of places which I would have built if I'd come across them before the flower forest, right there. That looks real cool. This little archway, I know it's actually a bad view. It's a terrible view. I need to get a good view on this place. Right above the trees, more trees. That would have been so sweet. I don't even think that that, that doesn't look large enough to be too dark underneath. I think that's sort of a darkness we could really light up and get working. But imagine this place as a base, a first base. We could have it in the, oh no, <laughs> oh, serious skelly. Is that a skeleton? I think it is, it could be a zombie. That's a zombie villager. This right here must be the most dense spruce forest I've ever come across. I think I spotted a village in the distance and I've been trying to get through this place. Like, look at that. No way through there is, I think there's a way through here. No way through most of this stuff. It must be because it's on a mountainside that it ends up being a big blockade for us. I'm pretty sure just over there, maybe it was a tree I saw, but I thought I saw a village just poking up over there. No, just trees. Maybe I'm seeing things. Let's just have a look. I'm I'm 99% sure I saw a roof, but I'm also pretty sure that these spruce leaves don't do a good job of not looking like roofs. Ooh, okay, that was not what I saw. I saw something I thought over there. I actually got a bit of a fright seeing this. Let's check what we got. Anything special? Curse of vanishing. All right, that means if anything happens, we lose that. There we go. Obsidian, glistering watermelon. I think that's used in a potion. I haven't used one of those in forever. But look at that. We've got ourselves a spot. This is this is the spot. We're not doing it today, but this is the spot. I'll have to take these coordinates down. Although it's not actually too far. I, I know where the other villages. We can get there from here. I just want to check. If there is a village, great. If there isn't, you know what? We've got our other one to go back to. Yep, there is. Not too far away. I'm pretty sure I saw, yeah, there we go. I knew I saw one. It was that one. I was pretty sure I didn't see the big like peak necessarily. That was it there. All right. Oh, I haven't seen these fluffy villages. Like they look just really fluffy. <laughs> no job. Okay, we'll find someone with a job. Actually, come here. I got, I got you some work. Become a librarian. Thank you. What do you got? Bookshelves. Do I have to, I'd probably have to trade with them a few times. That's pretty expensive. I don't have that much paper. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's go find another one and see if they want to be a librarian. You there. Don't have a job. Uh, there we go. You're a librarian. Start working. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. Let's put him on this side. It might not work because of that guy. He's, oh, he just took it back. What is that? Frostwalker. I wish that enchantment was more useful. All right, you know what? I will take this. I'm not going to cheese it through. Actually, did these still... Can I cheese it? I'm just curious. Can I? Reset yourself as a villager, please. No, both shaking your heads. I'm curious because I'm pretty sure you used to be able to just keep resetting these guys all the time. But here comes a willing participant. Punch. Nothing too good. All right, we'll, we'll give up on this for a bit. No. Look, that guy was the Frostwalker guy. All right. Oh, I feel so dirty if I did this. You know what? I'm not going to do that. We'll, we'll do something like that another day. But now it's too early. It's too early in the series. We can't, we can't be doing that. These are some real neat houses. Look at those potatoes. Actually, good spotting on the potatoes. These are really neat little houses. I love the new village update. Well, not too new, but new enough. Berry bushes. I will take those any day of the week. I don't know why I'm breaking them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I should just pick the berries. It's just habit. But this is a massive village. I thought the other one was big. This one is enormous. What do we got in here? A door to another door. I haven't been in one of those. Let me out of here, please. That is a really cool house. <gasps> Empty map. No. Thought you had something cool, cartographer. Anything upstairs? Paper and maps. Try to sell me an empty map, I found just stores. All right, there we go. We searched all of the houses in this place and I'm gonna guess the one that's well above all the rest. This one, this must be the lighthouse guy. If only this was a cartographer. Nothing, really? I thought that was gonna be the one that had something in it. All right, seeing as I did get rid of that one guy's job, I think we need to give him some more work. I see him running around there like a lost little villager. Where are you? There you are. All right, we can put this in here. Welcome, you start today. And please tell me you got something good. That was an interesting sound. Aqua Affinity, uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad, yeah, jump for joy. That was not really the reaction I'm looking for, but that's all right. I'll come back. Check this thing out. 
I haven't actually used these yet, but I know I've got to do some campfire magic. But that over there, we need we need a plan. What do we do with the honey? What do we do with all these bees? All right, so we've made it back home to our new Petal Valley home base. I think that's going to start sticking, but uh, I've got a few little things. Whoa, okay, well, there we go. <laughs> all right, I didn't want that there. Okay, let's go out this way. I've got a few things which I want to try out. I've seen this work, and I want to give it a go. So if we get rid of that, get rid of you, and we're going to place in one of these to grow for us eventually. Can I just place it against the lantern? I can. Wonderful. Let that grow for us, and one day it will be big and producing berries for everyone. Yeah, that's good. Kind of gets in the window over there. So the other thing I wanted to show you was that I've got a sword upgrade for free, which is great. The pickaxe isn't too amazing, but you know what? I'll take it. Golden pickaxe. It's cool for me. And the maps that we got in the cartographer's house, I thought, you know what? Let's just click one and check what this place looks like. So that's what it looks like. Not too colorful, actually. I don't know why I was expecting to see colors. I know that there shouldn't be colors on there, but that is the way that this area looks. And the sun's going down as well, so I should probably get to bed. But you know what? That's actually a great time for sun to go down. So thank you, sun. It reminds me to say thank you to all you guys for the support. And of course, watching through to this point in the video, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys liking the video. And of course, all the new subscribers coming in from our last video and hopefully this video as well. So thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. I am looking very forward to getting our butts handed to us in the next episode. I can tell you that. And uh, if you don't know what we're doing, there's a hint to the video. <laughs> there's a big hint to the video. But I look forward to that. So thank you so much for joining me here today, guys. And I will see you in the next one.